morning, everybody. We're here at Sherwood Forest RV Resort. It's here in Kissimmee. Um, we made it in yesterday, and then we went to Magic Kingdom Park. So, I want to tell you, uh, I'm not impressed with this park at all. We're here for three more nights, so a total of four of this trip. And then we're moving to another place for seven nights, and then we are back here for 11. I'm considering moving that reservation maybe up to Clearbrook. Number one, uh, the internet is horrible here. So we're going to take just a little walk here. So, like I said, the internet is horrible. Um, we use Visible and with a hotspot. And we use a router, and it's just uh, it's just not good. We're, we can't hardly get on. I was able to upload video yesterday from uh, our our time down at Lakeland, and it was okay. But I'm going to show you some of these sites that are in this block that we're in, and like I say. For an encore campground, RV park they call it, it was a little disappointing. So we'll take a look, okay? And this is the block that we're on. It's just nothing but a sand pad. At least they got a picnic table. But as you come down through, you're going to see that it's really nothing more than a lot. all dirt. There has been some uh, soft issues. Now, you can see that they've had uh, some issues here with soft ground because of the rain and when we checked in the lady also mentioned that uh, oh I hope you can get in there okay it's been soft but but our site is okay it's really good. So and here's Holly in her glory and right over there is the, the laundry room and bathrooms and I do want to show you something here that I don't like about this park for sure is our neighbors are over here camped and you'll see our hookups are right here sewer hookup right there right next to that little picnic table and that right there is uncalled for in my opinion so we had plenty of room to leave the dolly hooked right up, so that was good. There's our site number, 681. And our site has plenty of room. We didn't put anything out. Um, we're headed to Tampa to the RV show today. And uh, I didn't see any reason to even put chairs out just yet. So I was supposed to get some rain tonight. And hopefully that does not affect our site getting out of here with Holly. But uh, who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens here, folks. Um, take a walk over here and show you some of the park models. It is a beautiful, cool morning. And anyways, here's a street with some of the park models on it. This is nice to have the doggy cleanup bags right along the route for everybody. Good morning. morning. Good morning, pups. <laughs> so it's a, it's a nice community. It's a nice little community. However, the sights are, are not the best. So. Hey, we, we, made we made it. We made it. Where are we? <laughs> The RV show. No. The Tampa, Tampa RV show. <laughs> so uh, we said we weren't going to come down. We said we weren't going to come down this the last day. And we really didn't want to go to Disney or Universal today. So we decided to make the drive down. And so we came down. The, yeah, so we're going to see what it's all about. So, as you can hear, we got some singers over here and some steel drums playing. So. We're looking forward to a good time, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Okay, we'll see y'all later.
Ever since I left her Nothing's been the same Hey folks, what you're looking at is a wheelchair lift on a motorhome. I love this. Full accessible for somebody that has need for it. I'll go back here and show you the shower area. I don't know whether we're going to... Eh, we'll show you. Again, an accessible bathroom inside a motorhome. God bless Winnebago for doing that. We haven't showed you much from the inside of coaches, but we got a compartment with a stackable washer dryer. That's big. Good for Winnebago for doing this. Over the rainbow, oh why, oh why, can't I? One thing that we did buy at the RV show was this stand here and uh, it folds and it holds our signs. Hey everybody, it's moving day. We're in Holly. We're about nine miles from Mouse Mountain. We're coming from uh, Sherwood Forest. And it's only a total of 12 mile drive. I didn't didn't record anything coming out of there because quite frankly we were trying to beat the clock. But we got another nine miles to Mouse Mountain, which is a private campground. And we're gonna be there for a week before we go back to Sherwood Forest. But uh, we'll see you when we get down there, okay? Thanks, bye. Here's the office right here. A very unique park. They've got shuffleboard over there. They got cornhole. They have a and they have high-speed internet available. There are some park model homes. There's some you know, people stay here, live here year-round. Look at Disney, most of them. But we came in, we stopped at the office, we talked to the nice ladies inside there. One of the ladies hollered at me because I didn't have a coat on. <laughs> it's kind of cold today, it's like in the 40s, I think, 50s maybe. It is cold and it's very slight smoke in the air right now. But she hollered at me for not having the coat. They told me where my site was, showed it to me on a map, said, go get set up and come on back and check in. So we did. Uh, I just walked up there uh, to check in and I was surprised with the rate. We were told it was gonna be 285 for the week. It was 255, I believe, with my good Sam's discount. They did not ask to see the Good Sam's card. All I did said is, I have uh, Good Sam's, does that make a difference? They knocked the money off. We're here for seven nights. And 
as you can see there's some other coaches here we have some people from Pennsylvania here we're gonna walk it right down to the coach so I'm not sure where the mountaineer is from Whoa. loop down see there or actually on a little hilly section we're on uh, just as you start back down the hill so I'm trying to hold this camera as still as possible but I don't have it on a gimbal mount so the sights are kind of wide open in between them but other than that they all have they're all paved and we all have little patios and I'm telling you I'm loving our site we have not set up an awning don't know if we will it is uh, pretty breezy right now Here's the coach been here a while. He's even got himself some coverage underneath there, Texas coach. And across the street, make sure I'm not gonna get hit, nobody coming. And you come up to Hoosier. can see Holly over here from the back we got toad alley tucked up underneath there there's our hookup full hookup come around we even got the cutest little palm trees growing here aren't they cute and our patio set up like I say we haven't got uh, haven't got the ironing up but we parked the car in front. We think it's pretty neat. So, I'm glad I could show it to you. Good morning, everyone. It's moving day. We're just about done over here. Patty's retracting the slide right now, as you can see, on the back. And then we'll do the front slide. And then I have to go back and unhook the electric. But other than that, we're ready to roll. Doing tire check right now with a tire pressure monitoring gauge. That's checking that out. Then I've got to uh, have to start the coach, take it off jacks, come out and do a visual one time just to make sure that the jacks are all up. And then I'll disconnect the electric and put the cord away and then we're ready to roll we're headed back to sherwood forest so we're going to be there for 11 days before i'll stay at walt disney world so get ready we're going to be on the road again folks I like a little mud on my boots to stop scratching around like a chicken in those high heels did it in my roots so you didn't get what you wanted well, Sometimes life can let you down But I don't see is why you blame it on me And it put the big rock down Stop throwing stones Hey, what you doing, baby? What are you trying to do? Stop throwing stones You're like a storefront, baby That any fool can see right through Stop throwing stones
they do have a nice little clubhouse here and pool area we'll show you what that is here and some hot tubs we're not going to go on in the pool area but there. it's a cool day today so there's not anybody swimming They have basketball court, they have shuffleboard. So, I have seen kids playing on this basketball court, they're having a good time with it. And then over here, we have propane fill and trash dumpster over there, compactor. So, this is a somewhat protected park. They do have gated entry, but uh, there's nobody manning that during daytime. They only run it from about five in the evening through until early morning. But still, the bad guys can't get in during the evening with a vehicle, at least not there. They can always drive in the out, <laughs> the out area. And they also have a fun and free miniature golf course. Looks like they got her cleaned up pretty good today after all that wind last night. Still a few branches down. It's an 18 hole course. And like I said, it's free. Over there at the office, is where you pick up your golf clubs and they even have the golf balls for you. So. And that's where you check in over there. You can see a couple coaches there. And they have a small playground for the kids over here. <laughs> 